This is, of course, not a completed drawing or anything, but uh, for the purposes of this demonstration, um, I'm going to show you what I typically do. Uh, once I've completed a black and white drawing um, and I decide to add color, you have to realize what you're worked with here. The blue lines are water soluble. The black lines are waterproof. Uh, they're both permanent, um, as is this watercolor. But this is, of course, water soluble. So now you can uh, use the watercolor however you like. I, uh, I, you can use it like I'm doing right now, where we just fill in parts of the drawing with watercolor. And that all of a sudden, you know, when you do this, it just changes everything about your drawing because you're now making things appear that sort of fell behind in the background. And uh, now they're coming forward. So now I'm letting the uh, color actually dissipate off the brush as I'm doing this. So I'm getting sort of some lighter tones now by doing that. And I'll let that work. You don't want it to be too wet. We're doing basically a wash. The paper I'm using here is not a watercolor paper. It's a mixed media paper or a sketch paper, a heavy sketch paper, but it's not a watercolor paper. It takes a light watercolor wash, and that's what we're doing right now. Um, now, maybe the reason I don't find holding um, <laughs> technical pens the way, you know, very, very lightly uh, a difficulty is because that's the same way I hold my watercolor brush. <laughs> uh, I don't put a lot of pressure on it, and I let the point, you know, do its thing. And so that's how I do a wash of this kind. You can also, with a bigger brush, do just a, a real light wash of color um, without fear that the color is going to move the ink. See? So you could just do that kind of ethereal kind of color kind of wash that uh, is sometimes you'll see it in an illustration. And some watercolors do it too. It sort of just adds a little bit of color, but it's not like the main thing. So I encourage you to get yourself a technical pen and play because it's a lot of fun. It's probably very different than what you're currently doing. It can be used in mixed media. It can be used in conjunction with your watercolor. It can be used uh, many ways. You can actually take some of the thicker ones and work on canvas that's not too thick with, let's say, an acrylic um, that's been thinned down. Uh, you'll have to experiment with that, but you'll see that uh, it, does, it does do some amazingly different kinds of work.